Hey, morning, Natsa. Morning, morning, guys. One second, because I messed up here something and uh, not sure how can I fix that. Hey, good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning. Um, I don't know how to fix it, that's crazy. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ha, huh, done. Yeah, now I can put the chat. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm really sorry for yesterday. Uh, it was like seven hours. I was very stressed and, you know, grumpy. Um, but I seen people said, you know, it's not worth sorting. And yeah, you're right. But if you look back on the yesterday, yeah, I learned a lot. So we are uh, we are we are uh, <clears throat> we are getting some knowledge. The most important things what I learned yesterday, and I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually swapping a BIOS on the AMD a CPU. Yeah, you saw the BIOS it didn't work. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it. And the way how I was I was treating the AMD. It's like, okay, on like AMD, you can swap any bias from, you know, from any laptop, you can swap it. But we seen yesterday, <coughs> we swapped the BIOS and the board didn't work. Hey, Nelson, guys. Morning. Good morning. The other things what I learned, I didn't know, was the Dell actually is <coughs> not working without the battery, apart from the fact when you have a 130 watts charger. And what I did in this morning... I go straight to the Amazon and I bought a 140 watts USB charger. Yeah, check here. Uh, 240 watts and it's 140 watts on one port. That's what I bought. So from now on, I should be able to power the Dell XPS boards without battery. Yeah, that's what I did. Just to be sure, I'm not doing again the same mistake. Uh, we are moving forward with the board repairs. Uh, let's try to keep it like on un like under ten minutes. Can we do it? Can we do board repairs under under ten minutes? That's the question. Because otherwise, we'll end up with the same things like yesterday. Like spending a lot of time. And... Uh, this is a nice motherboard. So actually here we have a dedicated GPU. Okay, charging port is here. Yeah, we can see the charging port here. That's the fan. Short live stream then. Uh, not sure about sh short live stream, but anyway, we have to done a lot of more jobs compared with yesterday.
Now have coffee electronics every day. Hmm. Yeah, good morning. Okay, let's see this one. Let's jump straight into the repairs. <clears throat> Seven hours, no ads. Horatio, cum adică nu au fost ads? Pentru că eu pe asta mă bazez. Înțelegi că mă ocup mai mult de 50 minute de plăcile astea. În ideea că e mai mult de învățat, dar nu, sunt adă. Hello. În Bulgaria. Good morning. 4 p.m. Finish my work. Okay, so here is ground, here is plus. Plus is taking 10 milliamps, which is fine. Now, where is the power button? Six balls per hour, yeah, yeah, that, that, uh, we should push it even more than six per hour. Do you stop working for lunch? Yeah, I had the lunch here. You remember yesterday? I had my biscuits. How we program the BIOS in, in new generation? Uh, Amer, I don't understand what do you mean. What do you mean new generation? Let's see the power button. Okay, it's not here. Is not here. Where the power button can be on this board? Hmm? <coughs> we have a no button easy chip. Yeah, this is the power button. Check here, we have two buttons actually here. You can see two buttons. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. This board is coming on. Pressing the power button. Nothing happened. Pressing the power button. It's coming on. Good. HDMI. Let's see. No signal, so. <coughs> Let's wait a little bit. Uh, Tom, good morning. Seki, good morning. Francisco, good morning. Francois, sorry. Some boards it will not start without CMOS battery. Yes, indeed. Usually the old ones. We have no picture output on this one. And we can't test that, right? We cannot test it. What we can do? Hmm? Yeah, the CPU and GPU, it's warm. Xfix, Uncle Sorin, Uncle Sorin, huh? <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> okay, no video output. Let's try with a keyboard. Uh, let me grab a keyboard. But. <clears throat> But the current is too stable, and this board can be faulty. So we have the keyboard, we have the power, pressing the power button, the board is coming on.
maybe a different monitor. Nah. No, the keyboard is not working. So I'm assuming this board is dead, right? This is an AMD CPU. No, no, the keyboard is not working. Um, You know, I can bet, one second, I can bet on this one. Uh, it's, a, it's a GPU issue. <laughs> uh, this is the old model when they have problems with the GPU. Check the RAM memory. Uh, yeah, that's my RAM. You think it's not good? That's what you think? Um, let's test it again with this RAM memory, yeah, that would be a good idea. I hate stuck current, yeah, but it's a good indicator, you know, of, you, you seen that, that job from yesterday with the AMD when I subbed the, the BIOS? I mean, the current was so stable. Pressing the power button. Uh, Microsoft, I didn't plug the HDMI. You see, the current is too stable. I mean, it's not moving, you can see. Uh, Carlos, yes. This is a customer which is stripping down laptops. And he's selling them, uh, you know, on parts, spares. No, he's dead. He's not doing anything. Let's try a trick, yeah? 480 degrees, 50% air. Yeah. Let's see the GPU. Yeah, hot enough. Good, pressing the power button. The board is coming on. It's taking like one amp. And no, the current is like, you see, it's just it's no moving at all. It's no BIOS battery here. Like nothing. Yeah, nothing. The current is higher, yeah. That's, uh, you see, this is a very good example of what will happen when the CPU is getting hotter. <coughs> the current is going up. Uh, retro computing, good morning. Uh, Moldo, NASA. Make the HDMI. Uh, yeah, but that's the microscope scene. That's the thing, Silvio. Now this board is dead, it's no point, yeah, we're not gonna go on the same road like yesterday. No. On the other hand, uh, if you've seen, uh, yes, it was over two hours, I checked myself, it was over two hours on the last job, yesterday. Uh, 
you know, the less you have, like we had only the motherboard. But we didn't have the, the charging board, we didn't have the battery, we didn't have the screen, we didn't have a lot of things. Uh, the chance to be fixed, uh, you know, is going down. Can be a bias issue? Yeah, can be. It's acting exactly like that. Uh, uh, the job from yesterday where I uh, I swapped the bio chip and was like fixed car on there Okay, this one is the old one This is a nice motherboard Huh? We have used BC But also we have a normal charging port here, I believe. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Probably it's a BIOS issue. Yeah, can be. Can be. Did you figure it out the problem? No. But I do have exactly the same issue. You know, we assume the board is the same. What I believe is actually the BIOS has different firmware version. And we had this fold before, like the main power rail being like around three, four volts, and it was the charger ID uh, pin problem. I mean, I use a, I use my my uh, my power supply, and actually that, uh, um, but that was a HP one, right? Yeah, I should use like a proper charger and proper charging port. Can be a charger ID issue, but anyway, it's not worth going back to that job. 100% no. It was just, you know, maybe we can find the problem, we can learn something. Uh, charging port. So we have a USB C. Yeah, let's try with the USB C. Good morning. Can be a, yeah, it can be a bias issue. Yeah. Can be on that one. I mean, the current it's it's exactly like on the video from yesterday when we swapped the bias. It was like the current was not moving at all. But that's something important what I learned yesterday because I I done a lot of you know even gaming laptops, so. What you are doing usually, you go, you get a lot of another MD BIOS and you write the BIOS and yeah, you expect to work. But it happened many times, it didn't work. And I assume, okay, that's a dead CPU or a dead chipset. But from what we seen yesterday, you can't really swap IMD BIOS. That's what we learned yesterday. And this is very, very important. At least for me, it's very important. <clears throat> Let's plug the charger. And it's doing nothing, dead. Maybe we have a different charging port. You can see like a big truck here. Uh, can be this one, yeah, let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a charging port. Uh, again, missing components. You know what? I hate this. You see, missing components. And then the main power rail, look again, missing components. You can see, scratch board, missing components. Wow, that's bad, you know. Usually that's what will happen with the motherboard if it's not check here, components. 
uh, missing components. That's what will happen with the motherboard if you don't protect it with, you know, like foil missing components. Broken coil. Yeah. Spare material, yeah, but I want to see like a sign of life. Huh? You don't want to see something like that? So this is the main power rail. which is going here, and here we have MOSFETs. Yeah, check here. So this is the first MOSFET, second MOSFET current sensor. Let's come with the voltage there. Waste of time. Yeah, but it's something what we can learn. You know, we can learn something from, from those jobs. So coming with power here. Uh, no, 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 here. And it's taking no current at all. Let's check the voltage. Check the short for short the main parallel before applying the voltage. So the voltage on the main parallel is 19.5. <coughs> okay, so the next step is the power button. 3.3 on the EC chip. Let's see EC chip. Do we have 3.3? Where do we check? Yeah, here it's a big track. Check on the screen, we have 3.3, yeah, yeah. See, it's a big track, we pull up resistors, yeah? 3.3 volts. So, uh, all what we need here is to find the power button. That's what we need. Power button, where is it? Here? No. Here. No. Here. No. Do you think here? One. No. So it must be on the keyboard, right? It's nowhere. Oh, okay, here. Here must be. This one, right? Yeah, we have a 3.2 there on this connector. And let's try to short it. And the board is... I seen seventy millions. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is a three point three volts power rail, and we are shorting the the voltage. No. Okay. So what do we have on this connector? It's only three point two. So we are okay. Short in this. But it's pretty strange this board is not coming on when you plug in the power because it uh, doesn't have BIOS battery. So, how this is working then? You know what? You know, and uh, I feel it. I feel it. Wait, the CPU uh, is starting when I'm shorting that 3.2. 3 
I believe is there. Let's try the other pins. No, this is the power button here where the car. Is. Wow. What? No, must be must be shorted. No way. No way. So I got burned. Must be shorted. Let's check. Let's check together. No, hundred percent must be shorted. A hundred percent. So this coil has thirty-eight ohms. No. We have a nine ohms here, which probably is fine. Thirty-eight ohms. Here nothing. Here nothing. You know what? Maybe. But I got burned by the chipset. You can believe that? I got burned by the chipset. Uh, Glenn, you know this model? Uh, the coils are looking fine. The CPU show me like 9 ohms. I'm assuming this is the chipset with 40 ohms. But pressing the power button, the board is not coming on. I mean, it's coming on. Actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? One second. Because we can see exactly what is happening when we are pressing the power button. One second. <coughs> yeah. Just to understand what I feel. Horatio, mulțumesc frumos de donație. Mulțumesc. Thank you. Could it be the uh, IO chip? I think I saw a hole. No, that, that holes are normal on the EC chip. Yeah, that's normal. Let's try a trick, yeah? Give me one second. But I don't know how to do it. Oh, that sucks. One second. This is this is this is not a HP board, huh? It is. I can't believe it is. Okay, let's get rid of the power supply. It is a HP board. Okay, let me grab the blue pin. Blue pin. Blue pin charger. What is it? Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found it. Found it. So, plug in the charger. Good. And we are looking at the CPU and chipset. Yeah. And I will try to power on the board. I will try to power on the board. Let's see. You see where I got burned on the on the CPU, I believe. No, no, no. One second. What is that? Check there. Wow, there I got burned. So that chip. Uh, yeah, probably that's the chipset power supply. One second. Well, this is not a power button. It must be, right? So what is this chip? Zero. No voltage at all. Um... Um... Let's check with ground. We grow, we have nothing. That's crazy. Okay, let's do something else. Let's check the voltage there. Yeah. One second. Let's check what voltage do we have there. We have like nothing.
wait a second. Because this must be the chipset power supply. Yeah? I know it's not taking power. Then I don't know. I don't know what it is. This chip is uh, uh, is getting mad hot. Maybe it's the 3.3. Edgar, I think you're right. You know what I think? I think actually this is the 3.3 LDO. And what I'm shorting here, it's actually the 3.3 LDO power, uh, power A, right? Let's see. Let's see if it's the LDO one. That's what I believe, yeah. You, you can be right. You can be right. Let's check if we have 3.3 LDO, then it's making sense if there is 3.3 LDO. So here we have nothing. Here we have nothing. Uh, here we have nothing. Here we have nothing. And probably here is the input voltage. One second, we have nine, 0 0.9 volts. Okay, now we have 19. Good. Let's see now. So here we have 3 volts load. No. On the output of the coil we have nothing. Okay. Here is the input voltage, 19. So here we have 3 volts. Here we have 3.3. .3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have 3.3. .3. So actually what I'm shorting is the 3.3 .3 LDO. Uh, at least we know. Uh, no, no, Glenn. No, 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 no. I was shorting the LDO voltage. That's the reason why that chip was getting hot. Not because of the output. It's because I was shorting the, the LDO voltage. Okay. Good. It's making sense. We do have light here. But I'm assuming this is a faulty board. Uh, so I can't see this board to start. Yeah, this is the power button. Yeah, you can see it's going up to 30 milliamps and that's all. Where is it? Here. Check that. 30 milliamps and it's going off. Uh, we're not going to try 50 milliamps. Yeah, we should try to put it on memory. Let's see. I'm not going to try to fix this one because too many components are missing from this motherboard. We seen together. We seen it, yeah? Are too many components missing. And it's going off and it's coming back with 50 milliamps and yeah, that's all. Yeah. And it's looping. Yeah, it's just looping. No, these are too many missing components on this motherboard. Uh, it's no point. No, no, no. Jerry, good morning. Um, uh, probably you came on the live stream. Uh, not Probably you came soon on the live stream, but this board has a lot of missing components. So it's no point trying to repair. No way. No way. We are not going to go on the same road like yesterday. Because the idea of the live stream is, okay, I will start the live stream. And if I start the live stream, I have to stay on the live stream and do the jobs. Because those laptops are here from like nearly two months. The motherboard, sorry. And the laptops are from two months. Well, to, you know, it's a little bit too... I have to finish them. I have to finish them. I have to finish them. I don't think it's point, it's even point try to repair this one. Clear that it's burn trucks and you can see. And burn board layers. I don't think it's point trying to fix this one. Oh, okay, it's badly, it badly liquid damage, you can see. Badly, and here and yeah, basically everywhere. 
No, it's not even a point. But still, you know, those boards are good for spares. Good for spares. Let me take out the label. You left the RAM. Thank you. Thank you. I'm always do this mistake. Thank you. I always forget about RAM memory. Thank you. Good. Sergio, Sergio, what do you mean, man? We are not speaking about CPU and PCH transplant. We are not speaking here about that. <laughs> you know what is the issue? The issue is the time. That's the problem. If I will have time, Probably I will play all day long, you know. To be like, you know, I don't have to pay a rent or, uh, you know, make money. Yeah, they, then I will do it. Then I will do it like anything. Okay, let's see this board. Which labor printer are you using? One second. Where can I see that? I, I, I was looking for um, like high quality, no high quality, high uh, resolution printer. It's a demo labor writer 550, 550. I don't remember how many pixel has, how, how many DPI or pixels. But when I bought it, I was looking for something like that. You are an inspiration from us. We give examples of you. Uh, sharing the knowledge is what we can gain, not knowledge. I'm gaining knowledge, same as you, Yeah, like yesterday. Again, I didn't expect to see a AMD BIOS, which cannot be, you know, swapped to another board. Okay, so we have, we have, this is a Huawei. Yeah, it's a D14 motherboard. So this is quite a new motherboard. I mean, maybe not a new one, but it's a decent one. It's a decent motherboard. So we have onboard RAM, that's what we have here. Good. At least we know this is protected, so probably the components are not missing. Let's plug the charger. Dealing with the boards only can be a nightmare. Yeah, you're right, Sylvie. You're right, but you know what? The guy said, you know, sorry, don't spend your time. Don't waste your time. Just check if something is simple and you can fix it. Yeah, if not, just move. Just move on. Okay, so we have no power. Let's check the charging port. So the charging port, wow, check on the chat. The, the, definitely this one is not worth be repaired. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This is a charging port repair. Uh, it is worth rip trucks, yeah. Yeah, I know I did it, I know. 
No, it's just, you know, the tracks. No, 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 it's not the connector. Every track is broken. Probably you can't see it, but every track is broken on this, on this. Uh... Need new port? A new port, it will, not, it will not help you. You have to rebuild every track. That's what you have to do. Huh? It's repairable, it's taking time. Depends how expensive. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. What I get is 40 pounds for repair. It's worth for 40 pounds? Huh? It's worth? That's long. It's not that long, but you sure if we are spending time fixing the port, it will work? Chuck it into the bin? 40 pounds, man. I can't do it. Alex, thank you for the member. Mark, good morning. Do it. Merita? Maybe it has another problem. Uh, you know how it is? If you have an issue like this one, like the charging port, so most likely this board died because of the charging port. So most likely here is an, it's, it's not another issue. Share pizza if you repair it. <laughs> eh, share pizza. Can't believe. Can't believe. Okay, let's do it quickly. Yeah? So we have to do it quickly. That's the idea. Can we do it quickly? Rossin flux. What is Rossin? Rossin. Rossin. Actually, Actually, I don't want Rossi. Um, big nozzle, yeah. Good. Let's take the port out first. Yeah, let's go with 300 degrees. 300. Good. Uh, Abdul, thank you very much for the member. Thank you. Thank you. Three hundred, not enough. Three hundred fifty. Three hundred forty degrees. Three hundred forty. Let's see. Yeah, three hundred forty is working. I mean, you can see the 340 degrees is quite, quite of, at a limit because you see the plastic there. Yeah, we are starting melting the plastic at 340. That's why you have to, yeah, you have to change the the solder uh, temperature. The port is fine inside, and that's okay. Solder iron. Abdul, I'm happy to help them. 100 quid job. Yeah, but you know how it is. When you, you, when you are working with computer shops, and I'm working with a lot of computer shops, you have to think, they have to make money also, you know? It's not like, okay, sorry, and I'm sending you the job, you, you get the money and I get what? So you have to think. You can't, you have to understand, everyone has to earn money in order to be like a good business. Yeah? Otherwise, they will not send you jobs. I mean, it's no point. If they are making no money, there is no point sending jobs. Yeah, for a, for a regular customer, yeah, this it will be a hundred pound job. You're right. You're right.
just uh, we have to be sure we have track to solder is clean good those are good those are important and they are fine plus you have plus plus here and you have minus minus yeah two pins two pins two pins two pins that's what is important and they are fine Okay, Rosin. Perfect. Now let's go with a hundred ninety degrees, uh, hundred eighty degrees solder wire. Perfect. Good. Uh, Nikolaev, thank you very much for, for the membro. I'm also with the membro. Thank you. Thank you for the member. Alex. Uh, no, 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 not, not again. Not again seven hours. No, I can't do it. I was like finished yesterday. I went to sleep after that. Okay, so we are fine here. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Now, the, the port itself. Uh, wow, one pin is missing. Oh, that's sick. One pin is missing. But wait, it does, doesn't matter because we have the other one, yeah, yeah, so it's not important, it's not important. We are still fine. We are still fine. I'm trying to get those out. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So everything is fine. This is like a brand new charging port. Brand new, you can see. You can see it's a brand new one. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 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 Yeah, this speed is moving, lol. Okay. Let's solder the port back. What is squid? Squid? Squid. I'm not sure. Not sure what do you mean. Uh, Crawford, thank you very much for the member. Thank you. Um, the port isn't broken inside. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. What do you mean? Nah, it's fine. It's like brand new. Check that. Oh, huh? you can see it. It's like brand new. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but we didn't check that. We didn't check to see if it's broken before. Yeah. Yeah, let's solder the port back quickly. Not sure what is this. What is this? Oh, okay. So this is this thingy. Okay. Make sure I take it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Let's solder the port. So now we have a hundred eighty degree solder wire. So we can use less temperature. Yeah. Let's go down to three hundred. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, okay, you know what's the problem? The problem is the, the, the rubber is pushing this thingy from the back. But we are fine, right? The port is older? No, not really. Okay, let me use something here. One second. Let me use a plier, huh? Plier is good. Like that. You know, it's fine. I show you now. No, it's not going down. No. Okay, that's all. Yeah. Sure about what? Guys, what you are speaking about? Huh? Press hard, bend the board. Why? It will make you happy, Sylvia? This board is really working? God knows <laughs> if it's working or not. We are fixing the port because the port is broken. That's what we see in the first place, you know? We see the port is broken. Good. Perfect. Okay, those are solder on place. Perfect. Perfect. Good, not bad, not bad. Perfect. So we solder the pins. What solder wire you're using? Uh, check on the description. You have an eBay link, and uh, you can see the solder wire there and the model of the solder wire. Let's get the solder out. Perfect. Now, proper calibrated wire. Yeah, let's do it. Good. 
good. Now let's see. So we have, I can't see. Uh, yeah, now I can see. So we have one track here. Good, so we have one track here. This one. And it's perfect. Good. We have one track here. This one. Good. It's nearly perfect. Okay. Let's make it perfect. Perfect. No, it's not perfect. It's not solder on the board. You know, those things are so small. Yeah, now it's fine. <clears throat> the solder quality from the factory is not great quality. Uh, it's not leaded. That's mean it's uh, it's crumbling. Yeah, over the time. But the temperature is not that low how we are working here, like we're working with what, 180 degrees. So on the rigidity, the one from the factory is better. But it's getting, uh, when, uh, let's say, over the time, yeah, you have the solder boards from vibration, they will get broken. Now the one from the factory, it will get broken easily. Because there's no lid with. The lid says are really dangerous. KK, KK, yeah? Listen, when I was a young boy, I have a stupid habit. And the habit, it was eating uh, little solder. Yeah, so, you know, you can uh, un beat you the teeth, yeah? Mm. Like that. So this was my habit for many years, many years. Now, I know the lead, it's, uh, it's actually uranium <coughs> uh, decayed. I know that, but I'm just saying my habit and, you know, I had no problem for years eating solder. I'm just saying because, you know, people, uh, oh, lead sensor is, it's, lead solder is bad. Fumes are bad. I'm not saying they are good, but I don't think the, the you know, the, 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 the effect they have is, you know, is that visible or... Like you said, they're dangerous. Yeah, driving is dangerous, yeah.
Yeah, driving it is dangerous. But solder. I'm assuming you are not eating solder, so you are just, you know, soldering. I can't see how it can be dangerous. Like fumes. I mean, one of the, you know, something what you you enjoy when you are soldering. It's actually the smell, the fumes. <laughs> you want me to extract the fumes? That's crazy. I mean, I'm not sure if you know with the people using like uh, gel flux, but rosin, no way. You will want to extract that smell, that flavor. Schent, sorry, Schent. Yeah, that's the name, Schent. Come on. Yeah. Little friend asbestos, yeah. I uh, um, I seen here and you get a lot of problems with asbestos. They are trying to get asbestos out from the houses, yeah. I seen it's it's a problem, yeah. That actually is proved to be, you know, uh, to give you cancer. I can't see anything. It's not on focus, right? Yeah. Bro, those things are so small. I don't think I can do it. I think my wire is too big, actually. That's what I think. My temperature is too low. But good, and we have one left. It's only one left, that's all, and we are done. One left. One left, that's all. Need some solder.
Yeah, now the temperature is too high. Mm. That's all what we have. We have one track left. No, I can't work like that. So the temperature is too high and the board is too cold. That's the problem here. And I need more rosin. You see, that's why I hate working on phones. Everything is too small. Perfect, we done it, we done it. We done it, let's test it. And after that, we can clean it and check one more time. Let's test it. Plug in the charger. It's coming on. We have light. Check there. We have light. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. Nine volts. From what I remember, this board, you have to press the power button because otherwise it will not come on. From what I remember. So where is the power button, guys? Huh? Where is the power button? We need to find the power button. Where is the power button on on, uh, on uh, the Huawei on D14? Only 26 minutes, really? <laughs> power button is on a nine dim dimension. <laughs> uh, funny people. Funny people. Uh, here we have five volts, so I'm assuming this is the IO board. Here we have a 3.3, 3.2. Do you think actually the power button is on the IO board? It's on the side, IO board. Okay, so it's here. Thank you. Here we have five volts, here we have 3.3. Let's see. Yeah, and the board, it's on, right? But it's not on. One second. I'm not sure what is this cable. We have the CPU there, so we have to come with... Uh, the heat sink quickly. Nothing. Yeah, coming on goes off. <sighs>
must be on a keyboard. Um, so here I see something. Okay, so actually I showed the five volts, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, here. So you see it's going to one amp, then it's coming back to zero. What is it? Here, one amp, one amp, and it's going quickly back to zero. Don't tell me we lost the time for the charging, but actually the board is faulty. I think this board is on. How can it be on if it's taking no current? You know what I mean? Um, it can't be on without taking current. So all I need is the power button. Why is there white light if it's not on? Because you plug the charger. If it, the battery is plugged in, it will be orange light. But because it's no battery, it's white light. Uh, you know what? I believe this uh, this board is uh, is it, it. I think it's fixed. I think the only problem it was the charging port. That's what I think. Let me check a few things just to be sure. My multimeter died. Okay. For me, it's looking fine. It's an AMD CPU. For AMD CPU, it looks fine. Pac-Man, Huawei D14. Yeah, that's what I said, D14, yeah. Where is the power button? Mm -hmm. But can be on the keyboard. Can be on the keyboard. Yeah. One second. Uh, the keyboard connector is here. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Three point three. Hmm? Let's see this connector. So this connector now is that, but this one we have three point three, three point three. We have three point three on every pin. Nearly every pin. Let me check online.
power button is going to shopping. Yeah, it can be. One second. Let me check online. Uh, power button. It's on the top of, at the right of the keyboard. Yeah, but it's part of the keyboard or not? That's the question. Don't make a confusion because there is a fingerprint reader which probably is connected to the I.O. board. But I'm speaking uh, strictly about the, the power button. <clears throat> is on the fingerprint touch? Fingerprint touch. Yeah, okay, but where is the fingerprint touch? Separate connector. It's a fingerprint. I know the fingerprint is on a, on that board, but what about the power button? The power button plus fingerprint on the I.O. board. Okay, I got it. If so many people said the same thing, they must be right. So why this board is coming when it goes off then? <laughs> uh, why is that? Why that happen? I, mean, I can't even really test, you know, I'm not sure how uh, how it's supposed to work, how the power button is working on this board. No, I'm, I think here I'm shorting actually something. It's not the power button. No, I can't test this one without the power button. Somehow we need the battery to proper boot. Oh lol. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about the battery. Yeah, it is possible. Uh, okay, that sucks, but we fix it. Yeah? We fix it. That's what is important. We fix the board. Uh, we don't have the other parts, but looks like it's working fine. I mean, it's hard to believe here can be like two different faults when actually the charging port was broken. Right? Tell me we have money for a pizza. Tell me we managed to, to do it. But this one start no. Not this one. No, no, no. Huawei, I know for sure it will not start if you reset the bias. I know for sure. Not this one. Hmm? 
we did it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> done. If we can't test it, doesn't mean it's not done. It is done. But you need a power button. And fingerprint thingy. Okay. Good. Let me test it one more time. In the video, you are saying it doesn't work without the battery. Okay, that makes sense. It doesn't work without the battery. It's okay. It's fine. Next one. I don't know what is this. What about Apple motherboard? Can we fix it? Huh? You guys can help me to fix this board, right? I repair centers. Good morning. Akos, good morning. Yeah, we can fix it, right? We can. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's... It's like half of the board, but yeah, <laughs> no CPU here. The CPU is coming later. What about this one? This looks like a nice motherboard. So check here. I don't think I've seen this kind of uh, MOSFETs. So you see those fingers, uh, actually I've seen, yeah, yeah. So those fingers are so small and actually are MOSFETs, you see. You have a coil and you have two MOSFETs. <laughs> so small. It was a MacBook Air? It was. It was. <laughs> it was a MacBook, yeah. So the charging port is here. Yeah, yeah, the charging port is here. Let's be sure of the configuration. What do we have here? Yeah, it's a pretty standard design. Yeah, so we have the inductor. Now, one second, because it's going on the other side of the board. It's going on the other side of where because it's a fuse here. It's a big fuse. So I'm assuming it's coming back to this MOSFET. So we have first MOSFET, we have the second MOSFET, and then we have the current resistor. Yeah. Yeah, that's the configuration here. Yeah, that's good, that's fine. Let's test it. Power supply, we have minus, we have plus, here, or here, no, here is ground, here is plus. Okay, so the plus is here. It's taking 10 milliamps, lol, you know what, 10 milliamps means the 3.3 LDO is, is, is present, so the EC chip is fine. Where is the power button on this one? Hmm? Anyone knows this board? Hmm? 
So we have the fuse here. Good. Let's see here. We have nothing. No, no three point three here. Nothing. Where is the power button? Hmm? No, this must be from fan screen. Nothing. Keyboard, if you get on the keyboard. No, it's not on the keyboard. Keyboard near RAM slot. This one, this is the keyboard. Ah, this one. Can be. Can be. Let's see if we have 3.3 on the on the ECG first. Plus here. Good. On the AC chip we have what do we have? We have nothing here. Yeah, 3.2 on the EC chip. Wait, this one, right? No, it's not this one. No. It's not this one. Ground, ground, plus, do you think it can be here, this one, no, maybe this connector, yeah, we have a, we have, and the board is coming on, right, 20 milliamps. We have a 3.2, which I can short it. Wait, so we have zero. Shorting that thingy to ground. Or not. Looks like a power button, but I'm not sure about it. 30 milliamps. This is the RAM memory here. Nothing, nothing. Okay, this looks bad, this board. Because the current is going up to 20 milliamps. We have an IT chip. Missing components? Probably not, because it was this thingy here. Yeah, this one. Well, next one. <clears throat> next one.
This is a nice motherboard. Check here. And this is a nice one. Wow. Let's see this one. So, what's the story with this one? We have all onboard RAM. We have a charging port. Wow. Okay, let's find a charger. This is Lenovo, right? Is Lenovo or not? looks like a Lenovo yeah that's the charger so plug in the charger and the board is coming on cool okay let's plug the Let's plug the RAM memory. RAM memory is plugged. Board is coming on. HDMI. And nothing, right? But look, look, look at the current. The current is changing. That's mean this board can be good. Let's wait. Let's wait. Six hundred. We have picture. That sucks, you know. Actually, this board is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. But anyway, the board is good. No pizza. Yeah, you're right. No pizza. Let me take out the RAM memory. Good. Working, that's fine. Next one, let's see this one. This one is looking like a nice board. Why people are sending working boards? You see, this is an issue. This is a crack on the on this deal. Uh, I should not accept good boards i should say you know what test them and send me the faulty ones yeah because it's taking it's taking a lot of time to check good boards yeah that's a problem yeah we'll speak with the guy so let's see what do we have here we have usb-c ports let's grab the usb Let's see. The meter is coming on. You have the charging light. It's taking 100 milliamps. And the charging light is flashing. You know what? This is very possible to be a good board. But can be like you need the you need you need the battery, otherwise it will not come on. Yeah, and the both ports is doing the same. Power button? No idea where is the power button. Backlight connector, keyboard connector, touchpad connector. 
not sure what he's saying. Camera, camera connector, okay. EDP connector. So where is the power button? Let's see, keyboard. Yeah, it looks like we have some voltage on the keyboard. Yeah. We have voltage on the keyboard. Let's try it. Let's see. No, nothing. No, the power button is not here. The power button is not here. What is the power button? Lenovo, check here, Lenovo. He's saying Lenovo there. What is the power button on this one? On the keyboard. Why is taking 200 milliamps? Wait, that's actually a good question. Why is taking 100 milliamps? Because the chipset is getting worn? <laughs> yeah. Because the RTC line is shorted? Can be. Yeah, it's too much 160 milliamps. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Blinking LED, blinking LED, you know, can means like it's no battery. Hmm? So that's the chipset. Yeah, clearly here it's a different issue. Yeah, so probably the board should start without the battery because the chipset it is on. You can see it. Uh, you know what? I think nine volts. There is no. It's no weird nine volts. I think I will uh, say pass to this one. That chipset being on for me looks like a weird case, and definitely it will take more than 10 minutes. Yeah, good. It's a Chromebook, I don't know, but it has a Lenovo sticker here, not sure. What is this one? They forgot to feed the fan? Hmm? They forgot to put the fan here. <laughs> charging for what is it charging for? Must be here. This is a HP one, one second. This is HP. Yeah, it's HP. That's great. Let's try it. So let's see. 
HP adapter 19 and we have light Lol. we have light here where is the power button power we have some voltage on the keyboard do you think it's on the keyboard hmm? No. 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 We have some voltage here. Now this one, this one, this one is the power button. Let's see. Yeah, and the board is coming on. It's taking 120 milliamps. Let's plug the RAM memory. Good. It's coming on 220, 300 milliamps. This is a good board. <coughs> Plug in the HDMI. Microscope. Morning, morning guys. No, 160 milliamps, it's stuck on 160 milliamps. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Let's try with different RAM memory. Uh, charging for. Wait. I said is this one yeah? yeah coming on hundred fifty milliamps No, I'm okay. You know, 150 milliamps. That doesn't look good. I'm okay even with this one. Put a BIOS battery. You don't need a BIOS battery. You understand? On any laptop, you can remove the BIOS battery and test it. The BIOS battery is to hold the BIOS after you unplug the power, after you unplug the power, yeah? When you have power on the board, uh, the BIOS battery is not, uh, it's not taking any power from the BIOS battery. It's doing nothing, yeah? So you can take it out. Okay. Good, so we are... Uh, yeah, now this one. <clears throat> no, not this one. Wow, this is a nice one. Lol, this is a gaming one, right? This is a gaming motherboard. Huh? Definitely this is worth to be repaired. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So, you know what? I will leave the motherboard here on the desk. We're going to take like one minute break.
What do you think about that? Huh? One minute. Can we have one minute break? We have how long is one minute? It's not that long. Okay. Acer looks like an Acer, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Okay, one minute break. And we are doing after. Cut the red wire. Red wire. No smokes for you. No, 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 I need. Diabetic? <laughs> yeah, I need my cigarette. <laughs> and sweets. Yeah, you're right. No, I have no issues. No. Take a smoke and coffee. Coffee, I can't drink coffee over the day. I can drink it like in the morning. Crow forward, you see? Acer Nitro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, looks like. Yeah, it looks like a entry class GPU. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one minute, one minute. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. What repairing tension? Yeah, good. That's good. That's okay then. Let's see. Main power rail shorted. Five ohms. Ah, huh? no. Yeah, yeah. Five ohms. Main power rail has five ohms. Schematic and board view available. Yeah, you don't really need schematics and board view on gaming laptops. Usually the main power is shorted. And uh, that's easy to be found. 0 0.9 volts. Thermal camera. 5 ohms. That looks like a shorted CPU. 
<laughs> that's what that's how he's looking. Mosfet? Yeah, probably Mosfet, but let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. I mean, check here, yeah? Charge import, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and then you have the current sensor. It's taking 1.2 amps. Uh, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? Huh? Caps blows? Nah. This is a dead CPU, you can see it. Dead CPU. CPU is gone. Akos, yeah. The CPU is gone. I mean, I'm coming with one volt, yeah? With one volt. So you can't really burn the CPU. But here, someone plugged the charger with 19 volts and 10 amps. <laughs> you understand? All that current goes into the CPU. Yeah, rest in peace CPU. Yeah, pretty bad. Because it's looking nice. You know what is bad, actually? Actually, it's bad you cannot buy CPUs. I mean, this it will be easy to be replaced. I mean, it's a little bit bigger compared with the, with the chipset. I mean, I will do it, you know, replacing the CPU, yeah. But you can't find that good one. So it cannot be repaired. Yeah. If you got a good board, donor board with a good CPU, if you have a good CPU, fix the board, right? No, if you have a good CPU, you'll fix the board. Good for spares, yeah, indeed, indeed. Next one. Let's see what is this. Is the power button? No, probably it's not the power button. Yeah, we have a dedicated GPU here. Uh, this must be Acer. This is this is the tricky charging port here. Yeah? It actually is detecting if you plug the if you plug the charger all the way in. <laughs> you know, I seen an article yesterday. I don't remember where. Saying um, a team, yeah, partnered with Intel. They figured out a system for the chip to destroy itself if the computer is hacked. <laughs> I was like, like, what do you mean? They are not even working on the warranty time. Now you put chips which they are auto-destroying. <laughs> Just to understand where, where we are right now. I mean, those people are dreaming. Well, your, your laptop is so bad, you know, it's not even working on the warranty time and you want to put the chips, they are uh, destroying and sold. So plugging the charger is taking 10 milliamps. Where is the power button? Let's see the power button. No, it's not here. No, here. Can be here. No. No. No, it's not this one. No. Do you think actually we don't have 3.3? 3 
Oh, I can see some liquid damage on this board. One second. Power button on the keyboard? Yeah, you sure? You sure about that? Well, what is here? But you know what is here? I'll check here. This one is not even matter. Why the damage here is not even matter? Because this is the chip which is delivering 5 volts to the USB port. Yeah, so it will work. One pin is missing, the, the middle pin. Huh? Or it's not there. No, I don't think it's there. It's there yeah, it's not there. Uh, yeah, this is a 5 volts power rail. We can check if it's good. We can check. Yeah, we do have some liquid damage check here. You can see. Maybe we should check the coils first. Oh lord, check here. Maybe it's a good idea to check the coils. Yeah. Yeah, let's see the coils. <coughs> Good. 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 Maybe that's not ground. It is. 23, 23, 100, 146, good, good, that's the charging coil, this is the GPU, no, it's looking good, it's looking good, hmm. it's looking good. So where uh, coffee damage? Uh, where is the power button on this one? I mean, it's taking 10 milliamps, so the EC chip probably has voltage. Here? Yeah, I didn't see this connector. Can be here. We, we have liquid damage even here. Hmm. Let's see. Connector, yeah. No, it's not here. The AC chip has voltage. No, I can't see voltage on the AC chip. So, what is taking 10 milliamps then? Charging port. No charging port is fine. Okay, so we don't have three point three on the EC chip. Let's see. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, it's too much damage on this board. Parts missing. Components missing. Here someone work on this board, you can see. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth to spend time on this one. No. So someone work and it's a lot of liquid damage. <coughs> Definitely we cannot fix it on ten minutes.
right? Come on. Good. Next. I mean, I'm trying to, f I try to finish them, you know, it's, wow, this is a nice, check here, this is nice. I mean, this is untouched. Look, thermal pad. Okay, let's plug the charger and see what he's doing. This is a nice one. No, it's not this one. This one, no. <clears throat> this one, no. No. I don't think I have this charger. This one, yeah, Lenovo, this is Lenovo. Wait, I have that click on the power supply. Oh, okay. I heard that click on the power supply. Why did I have that click on the power supply? Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail is three volts. Let's check here. This this phone looks exactly like the one from yesterday. So the main power is three volts. That can explain why I heard that click on the when I plug the the charger. Wait, it's taking eight hundred milliamps. One second, lol, and the CPU is hot. The CPU is hot. <sighs> okay, so I have a shorted MOSFET. Same board? No, it's not the same board. Look, look here. It's looking like brand new, like untouched. It's coming on. Can't come on with three volts. No. No, no, no. How do I work? It can come on with three volts. Come on. Main power rail has, you know, it's not shorted. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. But we checked it was three volts on the main power rail. Let's lower the voltage. Here is taking nothing. Here is ground. So here is taking nothing. Let's raise the voltage. No, it's not short. No, it's not short. Look, yeah, no, no. 19 volts. It's not short. No, no. Let's plug the charger. And let's check the voltage again because probably I, uh, probably it was my mistake when I checked the voltage. So, yeah, now indeed I believe actually this board is coming on. So checking the voltage, yeah, 19, you can see, it was my fault. So this board, it is coming on. Let's plug it on memory. Good. Uh, plug in the charger. Plug in the HDMI. Good. Let's see if we have picture. Nothing yet. Taking like one amp, but the current is changing. Means this board can be good. Hmm.
It's on. Yeah, I can see it's on. I can see it. I can see it. It's on. It's getting mad hot. I can't hold uh, the heat in here. We have picture. That sucks. <laughs> we have picture, but that sucks anyway. <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. But the board is good. No pizzas. Working. Ram memory. Good. Next one. Wow, this is a nice one. Check here. This looks like a dull board. We oh, have USB C. Is that or what? Don't forget the RAM. Lol. I, I took it out. I took the RAM out. You know, try to take this out to see if it's RAM memory there. Yeah. We have RAM memory, check there, too. Good. So this has RAM memory. So where is the charging port? Or this is USB C, and that's all. Nah. Let's check together. No, no, it's just a shield. No, 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 no. It's RAM memory there. RAM memory. Yes, yeah, so we have minus and plus. And plus is coming to the first MOSFET, then the second MOSFET. Huh? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, must be. And then it's going on the other side of the board. Uh, I think. One second. Give me one second. You know what? I think I forgot the charging port on, on a board. That HP EA is here. Is here. So this is the charging port. Yeah, this is. Blue pin, blue HP, blue HP. We have 90, plug in the charger, it's taking like 10 milliamps, which is good. 30 milliamps. Ten milliamps. So and now it's taking nothing. Where is the power button on this one? Mm -hmm. Are those all your own boards for you? No, that are jobs. Jobs. Let's see. So the power button.
What is the poem about then? Not here. On the keyboard? No. No. Maybe. We have a three point three on the keyboard. You think can be on the keyboard? Yeah? Let's follow the current. Nope. Thirty milliamps, forty, fifty. It is on the keyboard. It's taking fifty milliamps. One amp. Okay, that's crazy. <sighs> HDMI. Yeah, the board is coming on. Let's see. No, no picture yet. Yeah, the CPU is getting warm. But the current is kind of stuck. No, no picture, no picture. Where did you find all those working laptops? Uh, are not mine, it's a customer which is buying uh, broken things. Frozen BIOS, yeah, but the bio, here is no BIOS battery. Here is no BIOS battery, yeah, the, the CPU is mad hot. It's no BIOS battery here. So cannot be like a frozen bias. <clears throat> can be a RAM memory, can be. Can be a bias issue. Yeah, can be a bias issue. Yeah. <clears throat> This is a pair, you see, pair of memories. Okay, so what is the power button? Well, actually, the, the, the board is coming on. milliamps flash the bios flash the bios so it work that's easy i can flash it like one minute that's easy but from where you get the flash this is intel you need a proper virgin one you know with a emi clean you know it's taking more, more current this time Lol, it's taking more current. And now the current is changing, which is a good sign. Well, not anymore. No, now it's stuck. No, it's stuck. Yeah, this looks like a bias issue. Yeah.
And now the current is going slowly up because the heatsink is getting hot. But basically stuck. Yeah, nothing, that, nothing. Checking the other slot. Yeah, we can check the other slot. Do you think anything it will change? Uh, trips 11 we have on our discord we have a list there somewhere I'm don't remember in which chat it is uh, it's a list there with the easy chip which has to be programmed and the one which doesn't have to be programmed they wanna I mean, it's starting, you can see it's looking good, and at some point it's getting stuck. Yeah, it's gone, stuck. Nothing. Steve, oh, hello. Bonjour, bonjour. HDMI port? No, no. Capture card frozen? No. I mean, this current is too stable. You can plug the keyboard if, if that's what you want. You can plug the keyboard. Yeah. So the keyboard is plugged in. No. The keyboard is not working. No, nothing. So yeah, the board is dead. No, nothing. Yep. Yeah. Let's put back the RAM memories. Give me one second, one second. Okay, okay. You know, I want to finish with the, with the boards to start with the laptops. That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe there it will be a higher chance, you know, to fix those, uh, you know, those faults. Mm -hmm. We can start with the laptops at some point. Start with MacBooks, I don't have MacBooks. 
work my books. Actually, you know how I think we have like two motherboards left and you can start with the laptops. You can believe that we finished them. So we have two motherboards and we are starting with the uh, with the laptops. Huh? This looks like a decent one. Laptops will be fun, yeah. How many laptops? Probably like 10. At boss. Hello. Uh, where is the charging port on this one? So this one is the battery connector. But where is the charging port? First MOSFET, second MOSFET here. This one, this small one is the charging port? Lord. Okay, let's see what it's doing. 19 volts. Plus. And it's taking 10 milliamps. Yeah. Let me lower the current a little bit. Yeah, perfect. So where is the power button on this one then? Uh, we have two pins on the charging port, so this is a this is a basic charging port. Where is the power button? Ground. Uh, so we have plus. Okay, this is ground. This is plus. And the power button is, can be here. Hmm. Can be here. No. Do you repair GPUs? Uh, sometimes. There are some videos with GPU repairs. But usually I try to avoid them. 3.3, I believe here is the power button. Okay, let's see if we are shorting those failures. No? Nothing. No, so this is not the power button. Keyboard. Nothing, I have no voltage on the keyboard. Only here. Wait, we have nothing here. The main power rail has 19. But it was voltage here before. Huh. One second. No, it's no voltage. Easy chip. Three point two. So the easy chip has voltage. Yeah, I do have. Bradley, yeah. The easy chip is present. Do you need RAM on the board to start? Um 
No, you don't need RAM to start. No. You should start without the RAM memory. Obviously, if you want picture, yeah, you need RAM memory, but not to power on. So where is the power button? But I seen here three point three before. Nothing. You know what? I have no idea where is the power button on this board. Like no idea. I know Acer boards. Yes, upper right corner. Upper right. This one? No, it's not here. No, it's not voltage there. You can use power button directly from the EC chip data sheet. Steve, well, that's long. What you tell me to check for the data sheet of the EC chip and figure it out, which is that's long. That's proper long. No, I have no voltage on this connector, no. No, this one is not this one. No. You know, here I checked before and it was, so check here, here is 3.3, yeah? Okay, I, I understand now what I did before. So three 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 zero, and here three three six four. So basically, if you if you short, if you short this one, bad things it. I mean, not bad things it will happen, but the three point three it will uh, probably switch off. Yeah. So we have to short the second pin, not the first one. Nothing? Come on. No, nothing. And if I shoot the first one, probably the power supply it will switch off. Or not. Yeah, and so. Yeah, I have no voltage now. Uh, one and two pin on the keyboard connector. One and two pin. You sure about that? Because I checked and I didn't see voltage there. But I will check one more time, so one and two pin. But this one is zero. This one is zero, zero. And on the other way. Oh yeah, we have voltage on the on the keyboard connector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Thank you. So P number one and two. I mean, two pins at the power button. Yeah, and the board is coming on, 20 milliamps. Yeah, let's plug it on memory. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Now shorting the pins to ground, and all what he's taking is 20 milliamps. Ten milliamps and it's switching off. Uh, 
No, it's not working. Twenty milliamps. Check the coils. Yeah, that will be my next step. Checking the coils. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the quilts. This one is good. Wow, zero ohms. Zero ohms. <laughs> that sucks. Seven ohms. Yeah, I can bet that one is the chipset. I can bet. look here was a button. Here is a button. Lol. So this coil has zero ohms. Why didn't check the coils from the beginning? Why didn't check the coils from the beginning? Is that? Yeah, looks like. Is the first rule. Yeah, you know what, Mihai? Yeah, it should be the first rule. Checking the quilts. But because we found so many good boards, I said, yeah, probably it's good. Let's see. So here he's taking two amps. So who is taking the current? Who is taking the current? Yeah, let's, mm -hmm. let's raise the current. At least let, let's, you know, have some satisfaction. Yeah, that one. That one has zero ohms. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Chipset. Uh, one second. Okay, we have one board left, yeah, so we can do that uh, board, or we can do something interesting. I have a job from a local repair shop, which of course has to be done. It's a Bose uh, soundbar. We should fix it. We should fix a soundbar. What do you think? Or move forward with the, with the motherboards. Yes, what? Soundbar? Soundbar, okay. Okay, that's great. That's good. Okay, it's fine. It's fine because it's here. Soundbar, okay, okay, okay. So we have the remote from the soundbar. And we have the soundbar. One second. I will take the sticker out. Uh, so what he's saying, he's saying, when you move it, it starts working. That's what he's saying. That's the fault. Huh? I mean, it looks simple, right? When you move it, it starts working. So this is the soundbar. Yeah, this one. Change the battery from the remote. Where it, 
warnings, swearing comings. I know, you know what? Uh, I know this. This is like a this is insane to open those thingies, especially if they are stuck with that uh, glue. Uh, it is possible to be some swearings. I'm not saying that, but this is a cheap job. Yeah, so they booked in. No, it's no price here. It's no price. So if he's saying when you move it, it start working. Where is the power? Oh, the power is here. I'm assuming it's something related with the power, so something like uh, you know related uh, with a broken solder. Sorry, sneezing. Uh, dry crack joint. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm, I can smell pizza. So, wait, but someone opened it. Looks like someone opened it. Okay, let's try to open quickly. Let's see. Lol. Bro, there's no way. How can I open this thingy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fix it. Yeah, this is sick, you know what? I think indeed this will be a long job. Um, Christian, uh, yeah, indeed, it's coming from a, a repair shop. Actually, it's coming from the shop I worked before. But I know for sure they are not fixing. Yeah, like electronic speaking, they are not fixing. So uh, probably no one tried to repair it. This is a Color Plus pizza. From what I spoke yesterday with the owner. He said uh, all what he can charge is like 60 pounds. If he's charging 60, I'm getting 30. 30 pounds. Yeah, like, you know, like two medium pizza maybe. Yeah, two medium pizza. He said this is an old model and it's not expensive. This is Bose China Mate 1SR model 32A040. It would be nice if someone it would tell me the price of this thingy. Pizza and vape diet? No, no really. But you have to compare with something. You have to compare your work. Your work, how many pizzas, yeah? How you compare it on money? Because money is different. UK is something, you know, different countries, something else. But pizza, it's about the same price. Yeah, so we can compare on pizzas.
here for swearings. Uh, don't tell me it's like 800 pounds, really? Because I'm not fixing for that money. If you told me that it's, it's, it's like 800 pounds, 800 dollars, I'm not going to fix it for 30 pounds. Yeah, Cena made uh, one as a, yeah. But his model, 32A040. Domino's is way too expensive. It is, but it's the same like McDonald's. I mean, you know what you get every time when you are buying. You are getting exactly the same thing. So you cannot have surprise. Then the second, they have that widges, widges with the, with the barbecue sauce, proper nice. Then they have that chicken strips, again, proper nice. $80 on eBay, okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay now. Means it is cheap. Okay, so you open every screw. Let's see what is inside. Oh, this is too long. Oh, so this is just a cover, just, okay. Okay. So actually, this is the speaker. Uh, come on, this is a nice one. So check here, you have one speaker here, one here. Here, you have the, the high frequency speaker. Yeah, you can see it, it's here. Then you have even speaker on the bottom. And you have the same on the other side. Now, I will say this is nice. So, where is the power supply? So, the, po the power is here. Here is the power supply, yeah? So, the problem must be here, right? Here. We should plug the power and check. We should plug the power. Yeah, let's plug the power. I do have a long cable here. Let's see. So plug in the power. Good. And how we can test it then? Any buttons? But this thing, he has no buttons. So with our remote, it's nothing what we can do with this. We, we have the remote, yeah. It's doing nothing. The remote is good, you can see it, it is, uh, has a light. No, he's not doing anything. Wait, we do have a button here. One second. What is this? This is the power button. Okay, so let me get this straight. This is dead. We plug the power, nothing happened. This is the power supply. And the output of the power supply is going where? We have a big connector here. And it's coming exactly here. You can see it? Exactly here, plus and minus. Aha. 
how can I take this out? Yeah, I did open the screws. I did open the screws. Yeah. Okay, so this is a speaker. We don't need a speaker. Plus and minus. Yeah, so the, from the power supply, we have those uh, big wires. 20 volts. Plus and minus, and we have no volt. We have, we have, we have no voltage. Perfect. It's a power supply issue. Perfect. Let's open the power supply. We don't have to forget. Actually, it is power plugged in. So bad things can happen, and it will happen. Let me unplug it. I think it's better. Okay. I unplugged it. <clears throat> Wiggle the AC. Yeah, but let me take the board out. Yeah, let me take the board out. Or at least let me take this cover. So if I take this cover, now we can check. Wait, actually you think this is the power supply of this speaker? Cannot be, right? I mean, it's too small. I mean, here you have red and, red and black. Red and black. Those people are crazy. So probably this is some filter board, yeah? Because I can see coils. If this is a filter board here, probably we are going to have AC. So that means this is the power supply, actually. Right? Yeah, so you, you see when the people, they are, not, they are not following the standards. You cannot put red and black for AC. You can't use something like that. Red and black for AC. Now you can't do something like that. Okay, I plug it again. Let me switch the multimeter on the AC. 750 AC. And we have AC there. Well, no issues. Remote. No. Nope. Doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, it is working. We have a green light here, which is flashing. Hmm? It's not flashing anymore. It was flashing a green light here. But the voltage is present, okay? So the problem is not the AC. I swear it was flashing a green light here. And it's not doing it anymore. I see in here the light. Here you have like three receivers. You have one, two, three. You can see them, three receivers. Nothing. Okay, let's check the output voltage from this... Uh, um, from this power supply, a plus and minus, and we have nothing. This can be our problem. Do you think this can be our problem? There's no voltage here. No, it's not doing anything.
But if this is only the power supply, why do I have a speaker connected here? Huh? Wiggle the AC port, but you seen it. You seen the AC there. The AC is present. Okay. So in the AC, and you said to wiggle the port. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. I'm wiggling the port. No, nothing happened. The voltage is steady. Check now, you see? Red and white light. One second, I believe the problem is not actually the power supply. Cables? No. Uh-huh. Here? No. Hmm. Okay, we should uh, we should try uh um, we should try to use some uh, logical approach to this repair. Yeah, so this board is taking power from where? Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a, a power supply issue or not. We have no voltage here. Probably here are speakers. Yeah, probably. Why do I have a feeling this will be a long job? So here you have a plus and minus, which is coming here. Plus and minus, which probably is coming from here. No.
I cannot see how the power can get from this side on this side. There is no way that it will be on this small cable. So I don't think this is possible. So the only way for the power to go from this power supply here will be those wires. I can't even take out this thing. Okay, that's fine. But even here are amplifiers because it's connected to the speaker. So the power can go only uh, on this cable. So if we have a fault, most likely we have a fault with uh, whatever is starting the power supply that's what i found yeah so whatever is starting this power supply so we have no voltage Yeah. Hello. Hello, yes. Okay, from free network, and I don't even have a free network SIM card. Every day, what did I told you yesterday? Remember I told you yesterday when they called? Every day. Every day they call me. Yes, cameras, yeah, but I mean, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's funny. You're, 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 you're a, you know, you try to scam a Romanian guy. <laughs> oh, that would be, that would be a twist. <laughs> I seen some voltage on the power supply. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, I seen some voltage on the power supply when Ah, 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 we have oil, we have oil, we have oil, we have 23 volts. One second. Oh. So. So we have here a white light. You know, you can't see it, but here it's a white light. So what is supposed to happen now? Pressing the power uh, off and it's not listening to the power off, you can see. 
So I believe this fault is really more complicated than the customer fault. That's what I think. Because it's on. Yeah, you can see the LED there. White, the white LED. It's on, but it's not listening to my remote. And the remote is working. You can see the light on the remote, the green light. Yeah, so I'm pressing the power button. <clears throat> this fault is more, uh, most likely related with the digital part. Yeah, no point to download it. I'm pressing the power, the power off. You know, I'm trying to explain it. Look on your phone for the Bluetooth Connect. Yeah, but how that can help me to find actually the fault? No, I can't find it. Probably you have to press some buttons in order to pair the phone with the... Yeah, it's nothing on my phone. Okay, that's some TV. So clearly it's not this one. Maybe the remote isn't working. Hmm? Hmm? Uh -huh. Check here. So you can see the remote is working. You, you can see it? When I press the power, you can see the, the remote. It's working fine. It's working every time. Yeah? I can't believe actually the, the UV filters are worse compared with any other camera from here. Probably the trick, it will not work with the back one, with the back camera. No, it will not work. So on the back, you can't see it. But the front camera is proper poor on the iPhone. So the remote is okay. But it's not doing anything. No, 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 di, 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 no. You know what? You know, now I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going there. I thought it's a, prob it's a power issue. But it's not. This is some digital thingy. No. No, I'm okay. That's the skill I learned it over the time when to stop. So I know. Uh, I know this is not. Uh, it's not for me. Yeah, like that. Clearly, this is not a job for me. I mean, we tested, it's not our AC problem, yeah? We tested, it's not a DC problem, yeah? The problem, the, the voltage is present, I can knock it, everything is fine, yeah? But this power supply is a complicated power supply, and you have a small cable here. You can see this small ribbon cable. So the power supply is controlled by the digital uh, part of this board. I mean, here it's a board. Here on the bottom, it's a it's a board. Here it's another board, and you have one board on the on the end. This one, which is another digital board. So this is quite a complicated thingy. So it's not like, okay, we have a power power issue, no. No, this, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is more than that. This is more than that.
yeah, but those are inputs. You can um, you can start and power off different things. You don't have here like you know what I mean. This is the Bose remote, and then yeah, you have TV cable, Blu-ray, VCR, and auxiliary. You can see. Well, when you press the power button, this power button, yeah, not those power buttons, yeah. So just because just because it's old, that doesn't mean it's like you know it's just a simple device. Actually, you can see that the old devices can be more complicated compared to the new ones, like this one. Sorry guys, no sweating. No, not this time. No swings. We tried, we tried to fix it, but yeah. For 30 pounds, nah, no worth. Good. It is a good device, but if it's working. Yeah, we were for nothing. Okay, no one hungry? Huh? Give me one second. I don't even think that I saw. Biscuits for everyone? Yeah, let's do it. Let me bring some biscuits, one second. Biscuits, hmm? Those are proper good.
<laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I swear those are proper good. I still have the chocolate one. You know how it is. It was my um, it was my birthday. Yeah, we eat, we eat a lot of stuff, barbecue and yeah. Then then I made turkey. So the turkey end last uh, yesterday. I mean I'm come kind of full by only eating meat. You know what I mean? Only meat, meat, meat. Meat is good. It is, but you, you get you get sick on some point. Your biscuits are from cows. I have no idea from where they are, but they are good. Okay, so this was pointless. We actually waste time with, with this uh, with this one. Sounds bar are not, you know, it's not a good business because most of them they are cheap. Probably there are expensive sound bars there, but. Uh <sighs> yeah, okay. So we have one motherboard left, then only laptops, yeah? Then after that we are doing only laptops. One motherboard. Let me get a drink, yeah? Let me grab a drink and we can move forward. One second, one minute, yeah, one minute.
Okay. Good. Yeah, this is a proper Coca Cola. Yeah. Mm. So good. Let's see. Advertise, no advertise. This is a proper calibrated dough. Yeah. Liquid damage coming up, you know, Greg, happens, you know, happens so many times. Especially when I put a bottle here and I come with the, with the, with the microscope and I, yeah, yeah, happens. That's why I'm putting the, the drink here. Uh, over 15. Okay, that's bad. Never heard about this. But if you buy a special thingy from YouTube, actually you pay money to YouTube. You don't pay money to someone someone else. Biscuits and cola? Yeah, I'm living healthy. <laughs> I'm waiting for Diana. Diana is cooking. It's making... Uh, Salat a beef or uh, chicken salad. So I'm waiting for the food to be ready. How old are you? Like 25? I look older. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. So where is the charging port on this one? This is the battery connector. Wait. This is the battery connector. So this one is the charging port. This is a strange charging port. I mean, how many charging ports do you see in with two inductors? Actually, I don't think it's a charging port. Never seen this kind of charging port. It can be. Yeah, you see, Nami, Nami. Yeah, this is a repair channel, not a fitness channel. <laughs> 25 in dog years. Yeah, something like that, Tyler. Ceva Buria. Really? Now it's fine or still hmm? it's okay? It's still it's still is good? Yeah. Okay. So we have a MOSFET here. We have a big power line, which is coming here. From here is coming here. And from here is coming here, yeah. So this is the, this is the charging port. I think it's the charging port. Let's check under the microscope. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can see the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and then we have the current sensor, okay? So everything is clear. Okay, you said this is a Dell one, okay, okay. Good. So we have the power supply. <coughs> yeah, we should check the coil first. Yeah, let's check the coils. Coils. Two ohms. I think it's the CPU. One ohm. One ohm. Thirty-five ohms. 
You know what? This one is looking good. The chipset is dead. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. So we have ground <coughs> and we have plus. And it's taking no current. Good. Yeah, ground. And the main power rail is present. <coughs> the main power rail is present. Yeah, I have over 20 volts on the power supply. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have 19 volts, so the main power is present. Now, where is the power button? This one? Yeah, check that. We have 3.3. 3.3, 3.3, yeah. So this is the power button. Nothing. Yeah, and the board is on. Check that. One amp. Okay, let's plug a RAM memory. <coughs> RAM memory. Feels bad? Yeah. Feels bad. HDMI. Well, what happened? Uh, okay, I don't need a multimeter. I need a power supply. Plus, let's start the board. Which pin is this is ground, this is plus. I can't start the board. Hmm. One more time. We have plus. We have 3.3, let's see. Zero. Plus. So must be the P number two, must be. P number two, which is here. It's not coming on. But all I did, I plugged the RAM memory, that's all what I did. Yeah, it's coming on. Good. Let's check for the picture. No picture yet. It's working, that sucks. 
Okay. Dell Inspiron 3505. Yeah, we have picture. Wow, we fixed it. I can't believe. Wow. <laughs> Uh, no pizza from this board. Yeah, so this one is working. You have no pizza, yeah. You're right. Let me put the sticker. This one is good. Working. Good. So now we are starting with the laptops. Let's see. So what do we have here? We have a nice HP laptop. Mm -hmm. i3 Gen. Well, so this is not like uh, an old one. Let's open the laptop. The laptop has no battery. Wait. What are you saying? Yeah. He's saying it's on my language because the guy is uh, speaking my language. Uh, the charging port. And the charging port has to be replaced. One second. Let me see what he's saying. <coughs> Okay, so basically what he's saying, but he's saying but he's saying because this is broken, this port has to be replaced, which is not true. Yeah, you have two ports, two pins on the parallel mode. You can see the plus, two pins for plus, two for minus. Yeah, so one pin for plus is fine. So this laptop should work with this connector. If it's not working, it's something else. Let's see, let's plug a charger. Yeah, blue pin, plug in the charger, and it's not doing anything. Dead. Just bridge the plug. You don't have to bridge it. You don't have to. And the input voltage is zero volts. Wait, I'm missing something. Plus, minus. Zero volts. Plus, yes, 19. So actually, do you think the charging port is faulty? One second. Oh, it was not plugged in properly. Come on. It was not plugged in properly. And now we have 19, okay. We have no power, let's check the main power rail. The main power rail is, let's see, where we are checking it. I mean here, check here, you have that diode, input diode, then you have first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor, and we have 19 volts. Let's press the power button. Where is the power button on this one? It's here. I think it's on the board. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. You see, this laptop is dead. Why we are pressing the power button? Oh, so the power button is on this board. Good. Do we have 3.3 on the EC chip? I can't see any voltage on the AC. Yeah, we have. Yeah, okay. 
but how much we have? 3.1, yeah. So the voltage is fine, it's taking no current. But why the ECGP is not reacting when I'm pressing the power button? We have no voltage here. Francesco, good morning. I'm restoring restoring the operating system in a POS. Power button don't work. No, I did press the power button, nothing happened. Pressing the power button, no. You see, it's no reaction on the current. Uh, I'll say, let's open this board and check to see what's going on here. And the power button is there. I mean, you can't even see the power button. You can see it, it's just a small, tiny button. Okay, let's check. On the power button, do we have voltage? On the power button, we have nothing. And we have nothing. Okay, this is strange. Did you ever seen this kind of fault? How you can have nothing on the power button when actually the voltage is present on the EC chip? Hmm? You ever seen this fault before? And no, I have no voltage here. I have nothing. How is possible? Let's check under the microscope. So the AC chip is looking good. The components, I can't see components missing from here. This is a nice AC chip. A9, A7. Here we have zero. You know what? We have a 0 0.1 here and a 0 0.1 here. So I believe something is wrong with, with the 3.3 .3 or with the EC chip. And here we have nothing. Yeah. So probably the LDO, but I've seen the LDO voltage. We've seen 3 volts, right? Who is, who is creating the LDO voltage here? We have no idea. What is that? Okay, someone work on this board. Which one is creating the 3.3? Three, 3. 3. Check the pin, 107. Yeah, which one? Mm -hmm. 107. Not sure which is 107. So 
So basically you have like 30 pins, <coughs> 60, uh, 90, and 107 is somewhere here, right? Here you have nothing. Here you have 0 0.1, exactly what I said. Oh, we checked. I, I, I think we checked on the beginning and it was like 3 volts. <coughs> Not sure what, what that means, Maz. What do you mean? I don't have voltage here. So my issue is the LDO power supply on this point. Wait, we have 3.2. That's sick. I just unplug the charger and plug the charger back and we have 3.2. Why do we have 3.2 now? We didn't have 3.2 before. Let's plug this. Let's see. Voltage on the power button. The voltage on the power button is zero. 3.2. We have 3.2 on the power button. Wow. The lead sensor is here. That means I can power on the laptop from uh, this position. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Nothing. Hmm? Ground. One second. So we have, yeah, pressing the power button is going to zero. Yeah. The last pin is moving. What do you mean? The last pin is moving. Oh, lol. How that happen? No, it's not moving. That's how it was soldered. No, 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 it's not moving. No. No RAM. No RAM, but it's not coming on. Uh, the coils are looking good. Let's see. This one is fine. Wait, let me unplug the power. Oh, this is the charging coil, okay. This one has five ohms. Okay. Three ohms, 23 ohms, 76. Good, good. I mean, everything is looking fine, but the easy chip is not starting the board. A ribbon connector, which one? This one? It's not important. We have power on the power button. 3.3 on the BIOS chip. This chip, it will program itself. This, this. 3.3 on the BIOS. I don't even think it's important. I don't think it's important. Not on this CC chip. Uh, no, nothing. No. It's not important because the AC chip has to start the board, then read the uh, program itself. But this CC chip is not starting the board, that's the issue. Yes, yeah, so one more time here we have 3.2 and the bias chip. Uh, pin number 8. No, 0 volts. No. You see? It doesn't need firmware in order to start the board. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Well, probably it's a dead DC chip.
go back and look to that dodgy repair, that's related with the HDMI port. That's not a problem. On the ECG, pin 107 is the power button. Yeah, the power button is fine. I do have the track. I do have the voltage on the power button. To start the board, the ECG has to resist some signals from the PCH. Depends of the CPU. Not always. Like on some boards, indeed the BIOS, you'll see, has all this power. On some boards, uh, the PCH has to start first, yeah, in order for the AC chip to access the BIOS. Different cases. Uh, this one, this one is not worth. Sadly, no pizzas. Not from this one. We're gonna start now to replace easy chips. Not enough power, what do you mean? Alessio, did you see any power there? You seen any power, any current? You didn't see any current, right? So it's not like, okay, I have only one pin and the laptop is taking only three amps. So I want the laptop to take five amps and I need both pins now. We are not there yet. The laptop is dead, it's taking nothing. Okay. This one, no pizza. Lenovo, what do you think about Lenovo ThinkPad? What do you think about ThinkPad? Oh, okay. i5 agent. Yeah, this one has screws. <laughs> the, you know, all those jobs, yeah? Uh, you, how can I say it? Let's say I have a genuine customer. Genuine, no computer shop, genuine customer, yeah? Taking jobs from genuine customers, the repair rate, it's about 85%. You know what I mean? 85% from the laptops, I can't fix them from genuine customers. But when you get like jobs, which probably a hundred people try to fix them, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, those are jobs logged. Probably someone already tried to fix them. Okay. This looks like a nice Lenovo. So what's the problem with this one? Let's plug the power. You know what? I don't feel like I want to fix this motherboard. But let's test it. Let's see. Plug in the charger and the charger is coming on. Let me tap. 9 volts, 100 milliamps. Everything looks fine. So what's the issue? What is taking 100 milliamps? Yeah, I want to know also. Probably the chipset. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Probably the chipset is taking 100 milliamps? Huh? What do you think? 200 milliamps. 0 0.19. Do you think the chipset? Let's see. The RTC line, which is shorted? Yeah, probably. Uh, Johnny's, good morning. Oops, so today big diet. <laughs> A 
let's see huh what is that what is that chipset let's see that is the cpu in the chipset chipset has a spot on the middle you can see no pizzas sorry yeah let's put it all back together nicely <laughs> okay never mind <laughs> yeah <laughs> And it was looking like a nice, nice job, right? Nice laptop. <laughs> Good. Perfect. What about Lenovo? Another Lenovo. What about this Lenovo? What do you think about this? Look, it has the screws on the back. This looks like a genuine job. One minute repairs, exactly, exactly. What laptop is that? Wow, we have AMD Radeon and uh, Ryzen 5. And sign of liquid damage, check there. You can see, sign of liquid damage here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what is inside. Backlight fuse, working on HDMI, but not on screen. Screen is good. We have a backlight fuse repair. Really? Wait one second. Big life fuse. <laughs> you came in the right place, my friend. <laughs> I'm an expert when it's about big life fuses. <laughs> At least we have some pizza today. Yeah. Definitely. We can we can fix this one yeah so let me grab a charger don't trust the customer yeah let's test it first yeah let's test it let's see time for a proper calibrated wire yeah, people knows people knows what will gonna happen next <laughs> Yeah. Plug in the charger. And it's looking good. 10 milliamps. It's looking good. It's looking good. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. Lenovo, check that. You can see? You can see the logo, Lenovo. Yeah. No big light. I can't believe so finally we can get some pizza today. <sighs> finally. Okay, let's see what we have here. Here we have something. Here we have nothing. Here we have a thingy. I don't think this is on 19, right? You think this one can be on the 19? Either is this one, either the those three pins there. Yeah, most likely those three pins from there. Let's see. What voltage do we have here? So here we have 0 0.6. Good. And here we have nothing. But here we have what? We have nothing. Okay, so probably this is 3.3. .3, and this is the 19 and it's missing. Here we have nothing. Here we have 5 volts. You think the backlight will work with 5 volts if I just put a wire from there there? Huh? Hmm? Let's start the laptop. We see the power button, the laptop it is coming on. Maybe you need to turn the laptop on? No, not for the backlight. Yeah, Backlight is always present. Doesn't matter if the laptop is on or off. Backlight voltage. So here we have 0 0.7. And here most likely we have 3.3. .3. 
Yeah, check on the screen, 3.3. So this is the switch for the, oh, you can't see, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry, yeah. So here is the 3.3, and we do have 3.3, and here is the switch for the 3.3, and here is supposed to be 19, and it's 0, yeah, 0 0.7. And my question was, if we are shorting this with this, yeah, we have backlight? Uh, what do you think? Probably not. We need 19. Let's find a 19, 19 volts around this, around here. So that's 5 volts. Where you can find 19? Yeah, here. Here. Yeah. So we can find 19 volts here. No, this is 3.3. No, here. One second, one second, here is nothing, here is 19, yeah. So uh, we're going to use a proper calibrated wire to move some voltage there. Let's check the keyboard connector, uh, the screen connector to see if it's good. No liquid damage here? No, everything is fine, good. Perfect, perfect. Check for sure for the backlight. Do not blow the new fuse. You see, that's the reason why I'm not using fuses. Yeah. That's the reason, Sergio. Yeah, check the back, because check the backlight before to not blow the fuse. You see, you got it, yeah. Finally, someone which understand me. Yeah, this looks fine. Huh? It's too short, kind of short. But we can find 19 here. Yeah. No fuse, no blown fuse. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> ah. Sergio, we are not checking for sure, man. We we have we have lab power supply. We can set up a current limit, yeah? It's not like one amp current limit. And if something goes wrong, we have a shorted screen cable, shorted screen. We can see that on the power supply. You understand? Very simple. That's the reason why we are using the lab power supply, especially the linear one. Good? Good. Perfect. Good. And we need the wire. I mean, we can take out the board to see where this track is going. We can do that. But that's long. But I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make. Huh? Perfect. And we are going with the wire where? Here. Here. Okay. Here.
the body stuck in the heat bottle. Yeah, we lower the temperature, well, now it's fine. Perfect. Let's see. It will explode or not. Plug in the charger. We plug the charger, nothing happened. Pressing the power button. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. Wow. Who said the backlight is shorted? Who said that? I mean, I'm doing something wrong or what? Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Okay. Backlight with the ground, short. Huh? Oh, actually, it's not short. No, it's not short. No. No, it's not short. So why this laptop is not coming on now? Pressing the power button. It was coming on. I made nothing. Okay, let's take out the screen cable. Let's see. Without the screen cable, it's coming on. That's crazy. How? One second. So plug in the, the, the screen cable. Plug in the charger. Let's check the voltage, the main power rail. Yeah. Let's check the main power rail. The main power rail is 2 volt, 5 volts. 5 volts. Who said the backlight is shorter? Who said that? Who said that? Huh? Who said that? <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. You know what? Because all what can be there is the screen, actually. Screen board shorted. Yeah. Probably the screen connector is all shorted. Uh, 715 people again can't believe no one is working or everyone is working and it's uh, just listening screen board you know what we can do let's unplug the screen yeah we did unplug the screen it's working without the screen yeah And this screen is hard to be open, right? It is. Follow the cables to the board. What can I follow here? This is the cable. This, and it's coming from the screen. You know what I mean? Without the cable, the laptop is coming on. That's when it's not shorted. Now comes the incision. No, no. Unplug the screen from the other side. But you see, you understand the issue. The issue is the other side. How can I reach the other side? Let's pray the GPU didn't get 19. No, it shorted to ground. That's the reason we have like three, four, five volts because the short is on the end of the cable. Uh, it's time to sleep, not work. 
Yeah, Daniel. Yeah. Have a nice sleep then. So this is a Lenovo. Well, I don't know what model it is. I'm not sure if I can open this screen. Because if it's risky, I'm not going to do it. So it is risky or not? That's what I'm asking. Screen is dead anyway. No, really, because I can bypass that connector. You know what I mean? That's why I said, you know, this laptop with the backlight, uh, with the backlight repair came in the right place. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious if, if it has strings, strings, that uh, rubber strings. And I can't see any strings. Wait a second, this has screws? Huh? This screen has screws? No. No, no screws. So how do, how do I took the, out this thingy? No, it's not coming out. It's not coming out. Remove the plastic hinge below. This one, I can't remove it. It's one part with the... No, I'll say let's remove the screen totally. What do you think about that? We have one Wi-Fi cable. But why we have only one? No, our two two Wi-Fi cables. Yeah. Ah, this will be a long job. Okay, so what about now? So even now it's not coming out. Oh yeah. Perfect. So that's the screen. What is next? Well, so actually, this screen is not stuck on the back frame, on the on the back cover. Slide plastic to the right. Nah, it's not like that. I know what you say. No, no, it's not like the Acer one. Acer or Ace is where you have to slide the junk junkyard next. 
Come on, Greg. Everything can be fixed, man. The screen is stuck on the back. I can't believe that's crazy. Force Cruzen is coming off. No, he's not. He's not. So the screws are actually holding this thingy. Yeah, you can see it. But the screen is stuck on the back. No adhesive? No, nothing. No adhesive. No, nothing. You can't put alcohol, man. The alcohol, it will get on the screen and it will have shadows on the screen. Hit up the other side. This is plastic all melted. No. It's too risky. I'm sorry, but it's too risky for me. You know what? We have our pizza because uh, we fixed the backlight. I can't take this risk on breaking the screen. Check for sure. There's nothing what I can check. What I can check for sure. I have to go on the back on the of the screen to check for sure. Joe Gaming, exactly. I mean, I break so many screens because I know, I know how it is. Five amps on the jump wire. Missing screws? You see missing screws here? The strings are under the hinge? No. Now look, I'll take the hinge away. It's not, there are not strings. Wait, this thingy? I can't slide it. Screws missing. No, are no missing screws. No. So you want me to take out the hinge just to see actually there is nothing. I think you are you are making a confusion, Lenovo, with different actually laptops, which you can find strings. No Lenovo. Lenovo, you don't find strings. Yeah, you know, other any other decent brand. Probably you'll find strings. Okay. Let's go and find the strings. Where are the strings? Hmm? Where are the strings? Well, this is just a rubber. If you think this is a string, this is just a rubber. It's here to keep the hold the screen. You can see those red fingers. You can see them? Yeah. So it's not string. Here is no string. You can see? 
is no string. Top, okay, top. Top, do you see any string? No, no strings. You can see nothing, no strings. Pull the black thing, the black thing, the black what? Oh, I can't believe. You see, I knew it. I knew it, but I'm just, you know, trying to testing you. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> uh, I can't believe. You see, you see the community. You see, the power of the community. Lord. So I actually didn't know what they are using strings. Can't believe. If this breaks, you are screwed. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's out. And check here, it's perfectly fine. I can stick it back. Unbelievable. And this is coming from Lenovo. Hmm? Okay, and here, let's see. So if you have this laptop, yeah, and you have a backlight issue and you want to take out the screen, don't do it. Send it to Sorin, yeah? It's dangerous. <sighs> Pizza is coming back? Yeah, looks like. It looks like it's coming closer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So who said that? Maz. Maz. Maz uh, said the check on the on the top the black thing is yeah yeah. Maz is a YouTuber. So taking out the screen. Lol, it's not sure here. What do you mean? This is like brand new here. It's not sure here. Who said, who said short? You guys made me to open the screen for nothing? Can't believe. So we opened the screen for what? This is on touch. This is like brand new. Why we open the screen? Yeah, but there's not a fuse issue. The problem is we have a short. It's not like a fuse problem. Maybe it's a faulty cable. 19 was short at one cut. Okay, let's see. Can you check the fuse. No point to check the fuse, guys. I mean it's short. It's not like we don't we don't have voltage. So what I'm gonna do, let's see if it's short without the screen. Hmm? I think that's the way to go. You don't think? Let's plug the, the charger. And let's see if we still have short. Yeah, okay. We need this one. Yeah, perfect. Plug in the charger. So we do have 19 or not? I mean, the laptop is coming on or not? The laptop is coming on, lol. Does mean the screen is faulty? It's working. Does mean my cable is fine? Means the screen is faulty. 
How can how, how the screen can be faulty? It looks like brand new. I swear it's like brand new. Let's check the connector. Let's check the connector. I mean the connector is fine. We we we, we tested, right? No, it's looking good. There's no problem here. No, no, no. It's no problem here. Capacitor. Can be, you know what? At this point, I believe it is possible to be, you know, some shorted capacitor inside of the screen. Let's see. Wait a second, wait a second, but it's not fair. I already I fixed the laptop, I already I took my pizza. Basically, I'm doing two jobs for the same pizza. Huh? It's not fair. I'm fixing the screen now. I fixed the laptop, now I'm fixing the screen. It's not fair. Sure, Marcos, you can ask. Shorter tab on the inverter. Check solder bridge on the red. Doesn't matter, Sasha. It is matter. It is matter. We disconnect the screen and the voltage is right. So clearly the fault is from the screen. <sighs> okay. Let's see. So what's wrong with the screen? The screen, you have one? No, from where? The black foil is pre-cut in the middle. Oh, okay. So what is wrong on this screen? We have the inverter. Where is the inverter? This is the inverter, right? Because this is the, uh, the LCD. There is the fuse. One second, because I have no space here. Here is the connector. So what is shorted here? Let's check, let's check here around the the inverter. Yeah, let, let me grab the multimeter. This is not short. Here is not short. Here is not short. This is a fuse here. Let me check with ground. No, it's not short. And the fuse is good. This is crazy. So actually nothing is faulty here. Yeah. The fuse on the backlight is good. So how 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 this is possible? So here is the here is the plus. Clearly here the, the voltage is coming here. Mm -hmm. One second. Yeah, it's not short. It's not short inside of the screen. We open the screen for nothing. Now plug the cable and check again. You mean when I'm plugging the cable is getting shorted? You know what, this, this is one of those jobs when uh, we check and seems to be fine and when you put it all back together it's not working. Oh, 
Perfect. So the screen connector is back on place. Good. As the people request on the chat. Okay. So, plug in the screen. Let's check the screen with ground. It's not shorted. How? It's not short. Okay, let's plug the charger. How this is possible? I can't, I don't understand. Pressing the power button and it's not coming on. That's crazy. It's not coming on. Now give me one second. Give me one second. I will take one minute break because Diana made some pancakes, yeah? So just give me like one minute, maybe two minutes, yeah? Okay? Good. Two minutes.
Okay, so we are back. Let's wash those uh, pancakes. Mm. Oh. Ah. Does the ceram ceramic capacitor must be both sides? Uh, Marcos, the ceramic capacitor doesn't have to beep, yeah, on any side. So you, you when it's beeping, it's bad. I bet the red wire is solder to 3.3. No, I can't do this, those kind of mistakes. Yeah, I can't do it. No. So what happened here is a unique case of a thing which is getting shorted when the voltage is rising. Okay? That's what is happening. So... What is the solution? The solution actually is very simple. I mean, we can we can we can try and come with the power supply on the main power rail. We can do some like bad stuff, like proper bad stuff, yeah. But no, let's do it on a, such a way everyone it will do it, yeah. So what I will do, I'll come with the thermal camera, and then I will only plug the charger, yeah. So plug in the charger. No, 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 let's, let's do it. I can inject the voltage from the power supply. But let's do it normally, because not everyone, you know, has the courage to come with the power supply. So on the screen connector, <clears throat> on the screen connector we have nothing. Let's check the voltage. So the voltage on that fuse is zero. No. Four volts, five volts, one volt. <coughs> okay, let's come with the power supply. <coughs> I changed my mind. Actually, let's do something even smarter. Let's disconnect the cable from the board. Yeah, good. And now let's come with the power supply. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Super Bob uh, has same idea. I, I don't have ground. 19. Yeah, let's go with low voltage and low current. Yeah, like that. And voltage, 12 volts. Good. And it's taking nothing. It's taking nothing. It's taking no current. 17. It's taking no current, nothing. We did something wrong with the wire, right? No ground, it is ground. What do you mean it's no ground? Look, I'll take ground from here. Nothing, nothing. No, nothing. No short. Sure. 
We did something wrong with the wire. Okay, let's check the backlight. Yeah, let's see the backlight uh, wire where it's going, just to be sure. But I can't do it like that. One second. No, I can't do it like that. Uh, so the backlight. We have the fuse here. And the fuse is good. Here, three pins. You can see? Three pins. It's coming exactly here. You can see it's zero ohms. So I didn't do anything wrong. It is ground here, you see, the rooms. So I didn't do anything wrong with my wire. So what is the issue? No, my wire is fine. Come on. I have my wire there. And I have the, the screen connector. Check here on the screen connector. You can see three pins together. You can see them? Yeah. So everything is fine. All four three pins are soldered together. There's nothing wrong here. Let me check. Checking with ground is not short. No, only those three pins are soldered together. Okay, let's come with the let's come with the power supply. Like twelve volts, yeah, low current. Minus. It's not short. That's crazy. Okay, let's call. Nothing is making sense. So basically the, the voltage is no low because it's short. It's, it's a short here, no. Because initially I thought, uh, here is like how many volts? One second. 19, good. Uh, I heard a click on the power supply and it's taking 20 milliamps. I rush you to thank you very much for your donation. Thank you. Pressing the power button and now the laptop is coming on. That's crazy. And the screen is, con and the screen is working. That's sick. That's sick. I, I, I done nothing. Why? The wire is not calibrated. <laughs> Lol, we fix it. pizza, pizza. <laughs> I done nothing. Anyone from the chat has like a explanation, like, you know, from far. Hmm? Magic, yeah. It was the pancakes. Can be, can be. Fix it himself. Yeah, looks like. Can't believe. Miracle. Yeah. Yeah, you see? No explanation. Bias being reset? No. He's resetting. He's, uh, no, I, I didn't took the battery out. You have the battery here. The BIOS has nothing to do with the backlight. Nothing. They're faking some... No, it's not. Some cable thingy? Oh, it's working. <gasps> it's white. That's sick. Why the screen is white? Okay, that's bad. White screen is bad.
Why the screen is white? Could be a bad connection. Yeah, it's coming on. So what was the issue? Hmm? Let's say you have a customer, they ask you, okay, what you did for what you are charging me money? <laughs> bad LCD cable? I don't think it's a bad LCD cable. You know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think there is a partial shorter capacitor, and when I came with the power supply, that short is gone. That's what I think. That's my personal opinion. It's not the first time when the power supply actually is ruining the, the, the things. You said that? Yeah, yeah, can be. So how we are putting this all back together? You think those strings, it will still do the job? Like that? So you kill the shore probably. Perfect. Hot glue. No, you can't be that dodgy. How you can use hot glue? Well, we have so some. You know, we we have a lot of dodgy people on the chat. Hot glue. You see what kind of job I'm getting? Crazy. I can't do it with this one. <sighs> Let's see, maybe we have to open this again. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we're gonna have to open the screen again. Because we didn't find anything like, you know. Okay, this is the fault. Mati, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your donation. Thank you. To reason harder or softer problem? No, it cannot be software. It's the 19 volts is not controlled by software. I mean, you have the BQ chip, and you'll think, okay, but the BQ chip is connected to the EC chip. Yeah, but in order to have the 3.3 LDO power supply on, you must have 19 first, yeah? Because the 3.3 LDO is connected to the 19 volts main power. Yeah. So the BQ chip uh, is not controlled by software. And the, and, the, and the primary, I mean, just to generate the, the main power rail. You should have the main power rail present. Aline, uh, thank you very much for your donation. Thank you. Yeah. 
good good let's see because we can have a surprise we're putting all back together and actually it's not working we can have a surprise yeah I'm expecting that I'm expecting it uh, Alin tu, tu ești cine cred eu că ești? One second Give me one second <laughs> so actually, you know who is the 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 guy, the Trif Alin, yeah. Actually, he is the guy who gave me all those jobs. So if you want to, to you know, just curse him and just give him some swears, you can do it now on the chat because he's there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's put back the the hinge. Uh, Peter, can you explain how you fix the white screen? Replace the screen. It's nothing what we can do with the white screen. Okay, so the screw of the hinge is here. Francesco, thank you very much for the member. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good idea with live repairs. So, so, I mean, uh, it's kind of, not many people, they have like the patience to watch for like, we are here from like what, like five hours. I can't believe nearly five hours, five hours. So we are here from like five hours and we done what? We made money for a pizza, right? No, and then the Huawei board, yeah? No, 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 no. And the Huawei board. Don't forget about that. That one must be working. You remember the Huawei? Come on, people. We work hard on that one. You can't forget the Huawei. The Huawei with the charging port. The D14, you remember? Good, let's plug the charger. I know this one, I know this one. Plug in the charger. Good, it's looking good. The laptop is coming on by itself. I don't know why, but it looks like it's working fine. Good, let's power off. It is switching off. All good, pressing the power button. It's coming on and working fine. <clears throat> How much you will charge the client for that? 40 pound, I can't charge more, that was the deal. 40 pounds for every repair. Pizza! Yeah, two large pizzas. Yeah. Yeah, we made it. So this one is fixed. Can't believe Bug Life use. <laughs> and we were like one hour on this one for 40 pounds. Close the lid a few times. Okay. I can do that. So coming on, we have picture. 
Huh? Good enough? What do you think? Good. I will say it's fine. Good. Repaired, yeah? So this one we repaired it. It's not like was working. Good. Perfect, perfect. This one is done. Fantastic. Next one. I can't believe we have another ThinkPad and another one. Oh, lord. Now, you know what? i5, 10 gen. i5, 10 gen. This is a new one. So what's the story with this one? We have battery here. Um, you know, I'm looking to, I'm looking to close the stream. <laughs> because it's five hours. I can't go seven hours like yesterday. Uh, Ryan, no, no, I'm using emails and I'm using the website. So the website has a form which is generating, uh, is generating a unique service request number. And then the email is coming and I have every email with service request number. No, why? Because it's, 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 it's I have so many, look, look, this is a, I think you got this wrong. This is not all my jobs. I have a lot of jobs, which I can't really do like live stream. I have like hard jobs. Hi, Vrashitu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your donation. Safe and pleasant flight on Sunday. Actually, Saturday, if they will not... Uh, if they will not delay it, delay the, the flight for my daughter. Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. But Saturday, actually, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah. Finally, Friday. Today is Friday. Yeah. Let's see one hard job. We just finished one hard job. What do you mean? On the job we just finished. No one knows what was the problem. Not even myself. I can't tell you what was the problem. We fix it. You're right. We fix it. But we can't really say, yeah, that one was faulty and I replace it and yeah, I fix it. Hmm? This one is dodgy, bad. Just, you know, a far check. Just, you know, a quick check. Let's see. A quick check. Ten ohms. Can be right? Can be. Zero ohms. Can be right? <laughs> Probably not. You have zero ohms. You have zero ohms on a coil. How this can be right? Huh? You have zero ohms here. Zero. Huh? <laughs> you asked for a quick diagnosis. I done it. So here is the CPU. I don't know what this with 10 ohms. Here is another coil. 15 ohms can be the what is here with with, with zero ohms <coughs> cpu cpu is here 
Can be chipset. Can be. Uh, that's that I'm trying to explain. I have a lot of jobs which I, ca I can't do it on on a live stream. Yeah. And obviously, if I'm closing the live stream, I have to do that repairs and record that repairs, and it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, what do we need? We need a power supply, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's the 3 volts, but I will call it 0 0.9. Can be 1 volt, can be 3 volts. But just to be safe, we are coming with 0, 0 0.9. Oh, yeah, ground. This is ground? No, it's not ground. Yeah, perfect. So coming with current here. Yeah, it's the chipset. One second, let me raise the current. Let's raise the current. Check there. You see the chipset actually is hot in two, co in two corners, you can see? Yeah, that's the chipset. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> huh? You said a quick job. Yeah, that's a quick job. Yeah, that was a quick one. That was a quick one. Chips have died two times. <laughs> yeah, chips have died two times. Something like that. But look, today is Friday, yeah? What about tomorrow morning, yeah? So we are starting again tomorrow morning. What do you think about that? We still have a bunch of laptops here. Huh? And tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow definitely I will have more time. Sounds good? May I know what kind of electronic screwdriver? It's the miniware one. Miniware. I broke the screen. I cracked the screen. I mean, the screen is still working, but the glass is missing some part of the glass here. Miniware. No chipset, no shorter chipset. Right, right. <laughs> uh, etiqueta la ultimo. No, I uh, no, I didn't put any label on any laptops. But usually, the laptop I repair, so I'll put like repair. Yeah. Okay. I will say thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And you know what? Actually, the help I'm getting from the from the chat, it's unbelievable. I didn't expect that. I mean, you guys are very helpful. Even if you say something, you know, it just makes me thinking. And I didn't think it's so, uh, you know, it's so, uh, you know, this is this is a good thing. I mean, I can uh, easily go through the through the repairs. Now, don't take this too hard. Yeah. Just because I didn't fix them, those are 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 most likely any any guy from this planet. It will do exactly what I did. Those are hard jobs. Hard jobs. Parts are missing. We seen on the video. Components are missing from the boards. The boards are really someone tried to fix them, but usually it's not like that. Usually, like how I said, probably over eighty percent of the of the like a normal repairs you'll uh, you'll repair them. So don't get too you know, to de depressed on this. It's just, you know, our bad jobs. Those are bad jobs. Don't get disappointed, yeah? Okay. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.